guys, this is your girl Alicia Pink and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So before we even get started, I'm going to need you to hit that subscribe button and that like button, okay? Support your girls, support small YouTubers. Alright, so let's get started. Alright, I'm going to start with three deep breaths. So let's begin. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. <sighs> Breathe out. Breathe in. <sighs> Breathe it out. Okay. This is one of my Virgo babies. How are you? Okay, so this is for the next 72 hours. It's going to be timeless as well. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to say from February the 10th to the 12th. And it's also a new moon on the 11th. So that's Thursday. So let's just see what's the energy that's going to be surrounding you for the new moon to start this off. Okay, let's see. What is the energy that's going to be surrounding my Virgos for this new moon in Aquarius 2021? Okay, so you have a time for healing, okay? You're probably going to be doing a lot of healing around this time, um, Virgo. Time for healing. Okay, and then you have a tough, the end of the tough cycle approaches. So I feel like you're going to be doing a lot of inner work, shadow work, um, healing yourself. And it's going to be coming to an end. Um, you probably been feeling down, maybe feeling a little stressed, maybe feeling a little, maybe a little depressed. Um, but Spirit is saying that it's going to end. You are your loved ones. You and your loved ones are safe. New moon and cancer. So, baby, if you are feeling like you're unsafe, you're uneasy, around this new moon, you're just going to have a, a feeling of release, a feeling of, um, a feeling of, like, a deep breath, like, I could finally sigh. I'm glad that's over with. You know, so yeah, time for healing for sure for you around this time. A time for healing. Let's see what else um going to be happening for the next 72 hours. What you need to look out for. What the spirit wants you to know for the next 72 hours. Okay. What is the energy surrounding my Virgos for the next 72 hours? So you got the Ace of Wands that came out. You also got the um you got the Ace of Wands and the King of Swords and the Five of Wands. So I feel like let's see. One more card. Just flew on the floor. <laughs> I'm not going to pick it up. Let's get one more card. Okay. All right. Okay, spirit. Okay. Um, so, you also got the eight, of, the eight of Swords. So, I feel like with this energy, with the five and with the Eight of Swords, um, right underneath each other, I feel like around this time... You are really battling with maybe a deep-rooted, depressive state. And that's why um, Spirit says a time for healing. Um, also with this Ace of Wands and this King of Swords, I feel like a new beginning is most definitely coming your way. You are focusing on building up your confidence. Focus on building up that inner strength. Realizing how powerful you are, getting more in tune with your emotions. Let's see what Elster wants you to know. Okay, maybe you're suffering from a broken heart. Maybe you just got a relationship. Okay, or you feel just alone. But Spirit is saying you're never alone. They're going to hand you such beautiful blessings and beautiful gifts. Okay, let's see what else Spirit wants you to know and what's, what's going on with you. 
my beautiful Virgos. You have nothing to worry about. You are always safe. Okay, maybe you are doing some inner inner child healing work with this six of um the six of cups coming out. Maybe you need to do some some inner inner child cleansing healing. Let's see what else spirit has for you. Okay, a lot of cards came out on this. Yes, you have the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles came out. Also, the Eight of um, the Eight of Cups came out for you. You have the Magician card. Let's see what else here it has for you. All these cards just coming out. Okay, I think you're going to be releasing some blockages. Some major blockages you're going to be walking away from things that don't serve you you know you are most definitely on your spiritual journey okay spirit is saying before you try to manifest anything and you know you have to do the inner work first okay you have to do the inner work you have to do the healing and self-cleansing as well you have to remove some blockages you probably have some blockages up but spirit is saying that this journey is going to lead you on to your success okay you are a baby right now you're going through a nice little phase okay they were like, I got you. You are my baby. And I'm not going to let anything happen to you. Oh, that's so sweet. They really love you. They're not going to let anything happen to you at all. Okay, you have nothing to worry about. This next 72 hours is going to be such a beautiful moment for you, Virgo. Let's see what else Spirit wants you to know. These obstacles, whatever you're facing, is dead. You're is done. Okay, is done. You know, it's you have nothing to worry about. Spirit says you have nothing, nothing to worry about. But you have to do the inner work. You have to do the cleansing and the healing. You know, everybody wants to jump right into manifestation and all this other stuff but you know we have to do the work first you know because there can be some blockages that we don't even know we have and then you're like why isn't my manifestation works why isn't this happening it's because you're not doing the work you got to do the work okay let's see what else you also have mirror okay maybe try some mirror work that can help you remove some issues and some blockages for sure okay you got Mira treat your body like the place it is like the palace it is I don't know I said place. the palace it is you know every our body is most definitely a temple we need to watch what we eat we need to watch what we say we need to watch what we listen to. We need to watch what we see. You know, because our body is our temple and we must take care of this flesh while we are on this material material plane. And, you know, maybe you need to work out, get some exercise and tower, unplug, relax for a spell. Do some yoga. Maybe you want to do a, a nice little spell if you are into that sundress do it for you always do it for yourself never do it for anybody else never do anything anything for anybody else always do it because it's something that you want to do because if you're doing it for other people you're never going to be happy okay this was right up so i'm gonna take that obstacles are detours 
in the right direction. So whatever obstacle you're facing, it's nothing but a detour in the right direction. Sometimes when you get a no, it's a blessing in disguise because something bigger and better is coming your way. And then you have, I do whatever it takes to get closer to consciousness. Okay, yes. I feel like that meditation in the beginning of the reading, Spirit most definitely wants you to do some more breath work. When I lean on certainty and faith, I change my mind about the world I see. Okay, so once your mindset changes, everything around you start changing. And I like to end my readings with some affirmations so let's do so let's do some affirmations and before i end this i just want to say thank you guys for watching if you made it this through um again like comment subscribe hit the notification bell i would truly appreciate it also if you will like a reading from me Everything is down in the description box down below. And then you have connection. I'm connected to the multitudes and I access their support at any time. Even a stranger offers a sense of comfort when they smile at me or make a dumb, a dumb comment about the weather. Everyone is waiting to connect. All I need to do is open myself up to pay attention. Note to self, work witty banter about weather related stuff. Awesome sauce. And then last but surely, definitely not least, let's get some more affirmation and see what's going on. And then you got, I am open. Vulnerability is my strength not my weakness my openness attracts those who are beneficial to my highest good when i lean into my feelings i am honoring my truth when i communicate my feelings in a loving way i am speaking my truth i am open okay that is your reading my beautiful virgos i really hope this resonated with you Again, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below, and you can follow your girl on all social media, media platforms. It is linked down below. And thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you next video. Bye.